Good morning, everybody. I have come to a garden center. I'm in the Christmas spirit. And I know that this garden center has a Christmas shop, which is open now. And I'm in the market for some baubles. It's the first year that I'm doing my own Christmas tree. And I think I'm gonna get it out of my garage today. And it will be the first time I've actually seen it. It arrived, I ordered it. And I've not got it out of the box yet. So I'm really excited about that, but I do need some baubles. So I'm hoping to find some sets perhaps. I'm not gonna decorate it today, but I am gonna have a little Christmas festive mooch to see what I can find and see how Christmassy this Christmas shop is. <laughs> I'm very excited, so let's go. That was so festive. I'm really in the Christmas spirit now. I'm gonna drive home and I will show you what I picked up. Okay, I'm back. My shopping is actually inside this box because <laughs> went a bit mad on baubles. So I'll definitely show you what is inside there. But first I wanna have a quick chat about today's sponsor, Zavi. If you have never heard of Zavi and you're like, Cherry, what is Zavi? Well, it is the answer to all of your geeky dreams. That's right. It doesn't matter what fandom that you are a part of, whether it's Harry Potter, Game of Thrones, Star Wars, Stranger Things. Honestly, they have got you covered because they are your one-stop shop for pop culture, fandoms, all of the geeky goodness that you could imagine. I was lucky enough to pick some of my favorites to show you guys and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Starting off with a piece of Harry Potter merchandise that I had never seen before. This is the Harry Potter Gringotts Vault Bank. That's right, it's going straight onto my Gringotts shelf. I also found this, which I am dying to rewatch. This is Fantastic Beasts, A Natural History, and it's presented by Stephen Fry. It was a BBC documentary, and I remember it being really good. Here's a little preview of Stephen on the back, educating us on all things magical and beastie. I also got The Secrets of Dumbledore, Fantastic Beasts movie. I need to rewatch this because they're not based on books, so I feel like rewatching, I get to kind of get all the information in my head to kind of learn things. What I'm trying to say is if you are into your fandoms and your geeky merch, then Zavi is the place for you. I will leave the link to their shop in the description down below. Go and check it out. And hey, I've got a discount code for you as well, which is Magical Family. This will get you some money off when you shop on Zavi. And I can't wait to see what you get. Let me know if you buy something from Zavi because I need to check all the things out. I love being nosy. Right, let's get on with the rest of the vlog I'm gonna show you what I got from the Christmas Garden Center. Okay I have got my box of goodies. Now I knew that I wanted a sort of Gryffindor theme so I've gone for red and gold baubles. I did look online for some but I didn't really find any that were just plain. They all kind of had weird patterns or they were in sets and then there was a lot of ones in the sets that I didn't want. So I did find some gold baubles. I got some quite large ones. I got two sets of the big gold ones. I was kind of asking myself in the shop, I was like, how many baubles will cover a six and a half foot Christmas tree? I may not have got enough, but I'm gonna try with these and then see what's what. So I've got 12 of the large gold ones. I then have some red ones as well. Look how cute they go together. And it's very festive. It's kind of traditional colors, traditional Christmas colors. I always think red, gold, and green, and the tree is green. So it shouldn't look too out of place. I also picked up two sets which have 16 in. So these are miniature ones and I found the cutest decoration. I like to buy at least one Christmas decoration a year. I think I've got some like ice skates from previous years and maybe, what did I get the other year? I got a little gingerbread man um, this time, which is kind of on the gingerbread theme. I got this like gingerbread snowflake. How cute is that? Honestly, it looks like you could hum. I'm not going to though, this was 3 dollars And then, so I have been planning 
a Christmas table this year. It's the first year that I'm having Christmas at my house. Like my family are staying over, which is also a first as well. And I've got pretty much everything except one dinner plate, which I need to buy because I've only got four and I've got five people total for Christmas. But I've got all of the centerpiece. I can maybe show you in a little bit what I got for the table. So they are actually wax candles but they are battery driven. That's right, they're LED candles. And I thought those look really realistic. They had some on display out of the box uh, in the shop. And I was just like, those look really good. And I have been looking for some that are different tiers. So I finally found some. So I'm not gonna set fire to the Christmas table. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think these were 14 pounds 99 for a set of three, which I don't think is too bad considering. Whilst I'm here and it's not from the Christmas store, but I did actually buy some Christmas candles the other day from Bath and Body Works. If you love Bath and Body Works, next in the UK, so next beauty, sell all of the seasonal stuff for Bath and Body Works. They sell everything that you can get in America now. I just wish they would open the physical stores so I can go sniff them all because not all next stores stock these in person. But I did risk it for a biscuit and I bought them not knowing what they smelled like. So I got this one, which is Tis the Season. Look how cute with the little reindeers. Um, that's your kind of, oh my God, that smells so good. It's kind of like giving festive gingerbread, mulled wine, your kind of classic Christmas scent. That is yummy. I did also get one called Winter Candy Apple. I bought these because they had a deal where it was like 40% off candles. And I was just like, oh, it's like it was made for me. And then the last one that I got, which I think is gonna be the one that I burn first, is Tree Farm. Look at that candle design, it's so cute. Oh, it smells like real Christmas trees. Like that is the real Christmas tree scent. No, it's not like a fake Christmas tree scent. I feel like I've just gone up to a real pine tree and kind of inhaled the pine needles. I highly recommend this if you like Christmas tree scent. And maybe like me, you've got a fake Christmas tree this year, but you really like the scent. Um, <laughs> yeah, love, love, love. I feel like I have a secret Santa's grotto under the stairs. <laughs> I got some of the bits that I have um, already started buying for the Christmas table. I've never hosted Christmas. So I've never, ooh, crinkly. I've never designed a Christmas table, but I've always wanted to do it. And I'm kind of at that age now where Christmas presents I don't care about. <laughs> and I just want really good quality time with my family and that for me is a really good Christmas dinner. So that's kind of where I'm putting all of my effort this year. And I've always wanted an Instagrammable Christmas dinner table, okay? So we're going for kind of magical natural forest. That's all I'll say, let me show you what I've got so far. So I will start with <laughs> the foliage. I kind of got this um, natural garland, which I nearly just dropped into your face, very sorry. Um, this is like a pine cone natural garland, which I'm gonna put along the center of the table. This was really inexpensive. It was from Hobbycraft. I think it was like, I don't know, five pounds or something. But either way, I was like, this is the forest vibe that I'm going for, it's perfect. I got quite a few things from Hobbycraft. Um, this is so cute. These are little placeholders where you can put their names in. Yeah, I'm going extra this year. They're made out of real wood. They're like little slices and I can just imagine these next to everyone's plates so that they know where they're sitting. I also got some more wooden kind of slices. These I'm gonna put um, those candles on, I think, and some other little bits and pieces. They're kind of like little, it's like a little stage. It's gonna be cute. They're all gonna be like layered like that. I got some natural colored place cards. So I'm gonna get creative with writing my family's names on there. These are probably the favorite thing. I found these on eBay. They're like little brass effect stags. You got one that's like sat down and one that's standing. So these are gonna be in the middle of like the natural forest, like the magical Christmas forest. It's giving me Patronus vibes. I got some twine, some little two-ply jute twine. Um, and this is gonna go around the napkins. 
speaking of napkins, I've got these kind of um, natural napkins from Next. Um, I'm not going to take them out of the bag yet, but you can kind of see that natural, neutral colour. Honestly, the way all of this ties together, I'm really proud of myself. I bought some little trees. <laughs> They're like little snowy trees. They're like in a bag right now. But I found some better ones the other day, which I think... I don't know which ones I'm gonna use, but like they're these little trees with little wooden bases and they'll go like around the stags, but I have many trees. Maybe I'll use all of them actually. I think they're small enough to use. I got a tablecloth, honestly. Tablecloths are one of those things where I sat thinking, it's so stressful being an adult sometimes because you never think about measuring tablecloths and trying to find the perfect size. This is going to be a little bit too big because I've got like two kitchen tables that are pushed together so it's not a standard size but this should go over it and this is a white tablecloth, a cotton linen blend which should look nice. So that with like the neutral napkins and like all of the, the foresty earthy vibes i'm very excited um i've also got these placemats can you see they're like little natural with little natural colors with pom-poms pom-poms so i think if i like show you everything sort of together you can kind of see the vibe that i'm going for and i'm very excited and i did pick up some crackers to kind of go with the theme they're from sainsbury's and they're this kind of like neutral and white kind of festive snow theme and i was just like yes those are those are perfect and for those that want to know what's inside these they're so cute they're like little cardboard build your own christmas decorations so i think those are going to be so fun at the christmas table and i cannot wait i'm so excited for christmas dinner already and i've got like a month to go <laughs> okay <laughs> honestly the state of my it's just christmas stuff just if we don't talk about the cupboard under the stairs much like Vernon and Petunia um I think I'm gonna pop out real quick because I'm terrible at food shopping for myself for like lunches and definitely haven't prepared this week so I'm gonna pop to Marks and Spencer's um I know bougie just to get a wrap or something I'm just in the mood for one of their like pesto and mozzarella wraps we'll see so yeah i'm just gonna go buy some snacks i should probably put a coat on <laughs> and have some lunch because i've not eaten anything today i'm terrible on vlogging days where i just get very distracted okay coats on i have just had a knock at my door and i've had a couple of deliveries um which i shall explore when i get back one of them i think i know what it is um yeah, I think it's a fitness mat. I ordered a treadmill. I'll talk more about that after lunch. <laughs> They've got all the Christmas stuff out. And this, I highly recommend. It's one of my favorite Christmas snacks. A successful shop. Got some Christmas bits as well that I'd had my eye on for a while. <sighs> Okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay, I've got my lunch. The mozzarella and pesto wrap to die for. I've also thought ahead, I've got my lunch for tomorrow as well, because um, I couldn't resist this. It's a naughty and spice turkey feast. Uh, it's like this brioche bun. In fact, I'll tell you what it is. It's a piri piri marinated sliced turkey breast, spiced pork stuffing, red cabbage slaw, cranberry and chili sauce with a seasoned mayo on a brioche roll. Oh, did I fall? So that can go in the fridge. I also bought these because I did try to buy these the other week, but they were sold out and I found them that were just staring at me. These are going straight into my freezer. These are eight reindeer steamed buns it's steamed bao buns filled with vegetables in a hoisin sauce, but they're little reindeers. Um, I can't cope with how cute those are, but those are coming straight out on maybe Boxing Day for like post Christmas lunch or something. I did treat myself to some naughty, naughty but nice custard shoe buns. These, 
if you've never had these specifically from M&S because I've tried them from Tesco and maybe Sainsbury's they're not as nice these are so good it's like a donut with well it's like a chocolate eclair and a donut shape with custard filling and then chocolate on top mm. yes my healthy eating is starting again post Christmas because Life's too short, like life's for living and I love to treat myself over the festive season. Got some easy peeler oranges and then I got these for Christmas as well because I'm a big sugary nut gal. <laughs> these are caramelized and toasted nuts. It might be a little bit sunny but they're like really sweet nuts and they are delicious. And then last but not least, I got one of the M&S Meal for One because I live alone. Sometimes I'm not in the mood to cook things. And yeah, these are really easy. I've had this before. It's the fruity chicken curry and I really like those. So that's going in the fridge as well. I'm gonna put this all away, eat my lunch and then tackle the deliveries that just got delivered. <laughs> Right, I've just had lunch and chilled out for about an hour. I watched the first episode of Wednesday on Netflix. It's so good. I cannot wait to watch more tonight. Um, I've been waiting for this series for so long, like since it was announced. It's about Wednesday from the Adams Family. And honestly, I highly recommend it just from watching one episode. So there's a recommendation for you. I do have a couple of parcels and the one I want to open is this one which <laughs> looks massive but I don't actually think it's going to be that big um so the other day I finally ordered myself something which I've wanted for a long time and honestly it's taken like a year's worth of thought and research into them as well and it's a treadmill um once a year towards christmas time or usually at christmas or afterwards i like to treat myself to something that i can't usually justify buying during the year as like a congrats you made it through another year on this earth kind of gift and it was a treadmill because i got really into my fitness in 2020 like prior to that I wasn't a fitness gal I hadn't really been to a gym ever since like school I never used to run I never used to, I never used to do anything exercise wasn't my thing <laughs> and as soon as like the pandemic rocked around I had like all this energy and like we couldn't see friends or family and I was stuck in the house as we all were and um, I got into running, like I really surprised myself because I was like, oh, this isn't very me, but I did it and I got really physically fit. And with that, I then got mentally fit, if that makes sense. And I miss it. I miss the kind of good brain feeling and that kind of release and escape that I got from running. So I did, I treated myself to a treadmill I, you may have heard me talk about this on Instagram. If you're not following me, go go over there. But I, yeah, I got a treadmill from Nordic Track and the one that I got is called the new commercial, oh, is it the 2490, 25? I'll link it down below. And I'm gonna have it in my guest room upstairs. Um, it's gonna be fun getting it up the stairs. Basically, if you ever consider buying a treadmill, they only deliver or assemble to a ground floor. I have no space down here because um, I'm not gonna have it in the kitchen or my living room. My office down here is too small. And if you have it in like a garage, it voids the warranty. So the only place that I want to have it and have the room is in my guest room upstairs. So I think I'm gonna have to get like my brother and my dad to come around and help me, A, take it up the stairs because it's gonna be pretty heavy and then B, assemble it. So good luck to us. <laughs> and because my guest room is carpeted, I got some floor protection, which is a mat. And these are apparently pretty good to stop like dust getting into the motors. Ooh, 
god, this is heavy. <laughs> They're basically not gonna ship or dispatch the treadmill till the 30th approx of November. And then I think it can take a couple of weeks from there. So I'm hoping I will get my treadmill before Christmas ready for January. The new year, new me era. Um, but yeah, oh, this is huge, <laughs> but it should be the right size. So yeah, here it is. It's a exercise equipment floor mat. Not very thrilling. Do apologize if you thought it was gonna be exciting. I did get a little Amazon packet. I took my ring light out of my garage the other day. I haven't used my ring light for years because I've not needed it. And the bag that it's in, it's like a sort of fabric, rucksacky type material. And because it's been in my garage, it was inside a box as well, but the, the actual kind of bag that it's in went a little bit moldy and I don't want to throw it out. I want to clean it. <laughs> so I had a little look on Amazon, got a little spray top, which will go inside here and found this, which is Mold Remover Pro. Removes mold stains and odors, so it'll kill the mold spores and prevent it from reoccurring. And it's good for leather, fabric, and wood. So I'm hoping this will do the job. I'll show you what I mean. So this is the bag. Can you see like, oh yeah, it's, I kind of don't want to have it in my lounge. Yeah, I need to thoroughly clean it because I don't really want to waste it and get rid of it. Otherwise I'll have nowhere to like store the light. So I'm gonna zap it with my mold remover. <laughs> and then last but not least is a thing from Boohoo. Now this isn't the happiest parcel because it's some um, black dresses. I sadly lost my granddad recently. Um, so I've got, I got some outfits and I'm hoping they fit. Anyway, so those are my little parcels. I'm gonna put all this stuff away. Then guys, I think it's time to get the Christmas tree out. It's really heavy as well. <laughs> when I tell you, I felt like the Hulk getting that out. <laughs> it's so heavy. So here it is. <laughs> This tree is from Balsam Hill. Probably see it on the edge there. Not spawn, paid for it myself. So I've opened this just to check everything was in there. But I've not unwrapped it yet, so I've not seen it. Um, one thing it does come with is this massive tree bag, which is gonna be perfect after Christmas to put it away. And it also comes with this little bag and it has little, little tree gloves. <laughs> That's when you know it. Oh, it comes with two sets as well. That's when you know the tree's fancy. Okay. It's looking Christmas tree like. <laughs> oh God, this is heavy. Oh, it's like a gym workout. melting after putting that up but here it is <laughs> it needs fluffing obviously all of this is bunched up so I need to get my fancy Christmas tree gloves on and really style it and then spread out all of these because these need like kind of molding you know kind of so they're all bushy so I'm gonna do that once that's done I'm gonna plug it in and see if the lights come on I hope they come on <laughs> they, they, they better come on
I have got a major sweat on. <laughs> That was harder than it looked. Okay, I've done as much fluffing as I want to do today just because I'm melting. It will probably have another a pre-fluff before I um, decorate it, but <sighs> look at it in all of its glory. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, it's everything that I wanted it to be. It's fluffy, it looks perfect. It definitely needs a bit more fluffing at the top, shape-wise. Um, <laughs> I've left that a bit bent, that needs straightening, but look at it, like it's all got lights in it as well. I'm gonna plug it in and see what it looks like. Right, <laughs> I'm gonna... Okay, and then do I need to... Okay, get out. Why is this? <laughs> this is a magical tree, guys. I wasn't lying that I'm getting a magical tree. What else does it do? Oh my God, oh my God. I think I can download the Twinkly app and maybe draw on this tree in light. Um, oh, oh, I could cry. Oh, it's so beautiful. I kind of want to cry. <laughs> oh, I've just been waiting for a magical tree. Oh, it does tw magical twinkles. I can't cope, guys. What is that? <laughs> I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's a Christmas tree, but... It's the Christmas tree I've genuinely always dreamt of. And it's making me feel a lot of things like... <laughs> I've just been sitting here watching it twinkle away. Um, speaking of twinkle, so this tree is a smart tree, if you like. Um, and it's run by something called Twinkly Generation 2. And it comes with an app believe it or not <laughs> and I'm just joining the network to it but I'll show you what it can do because I don't even think I'm ready for this but you can like paint on the tree you can design the lights to do what you want you can select the colors the pattern everything and yeah what a special tree okay guys let me <laughs> Oh, the bokeh effect is so nice. Um, let me turn the camera around. Um, this is on something called Glow, and it's kind of, you can see all the colored pixels kind of match the tree, and there's so many different ones to pick. Um, you can see them all here. So if I click the rainbow one, <laughs> it makes a giant rainbow tree. Um, and then there's something called Sparkles. Um, this one's a bit too blue for me, but I can probably change the colours. I also need to work out how to map the tree. There's a peachy one, if you like that kind of colour decor. <laughs> Honestly, there's something for everything. Um, there's one called Night Sky. Um, oh, that's pretty. Oh, that one's fun. That one's called Wed Day Blues. Either way, I've got lots of planning to do and mapping of the tree, but... <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. I'm very happy with it. I'm I'm very pleased with that for sure. My office, <laughs> sorry, studio, is a mess. <laughs> um, but I thought I would quickly come up here because I've got, I got, basically got all of my America stuff out. Because um, I had quite a few bits and pieces from my trip, which I was maybe going to film a haul, but then I didn't but I might do a mini one now before I go. Here's something I haven't told you guys, but I will, and I'm sure Rach won't mind me saying now because it's been so long, but the trip to America was so dramatic. <laughs> we obviously arrived in a hurricane, which we didn't know about, 
And then the day after we landed, and I know quite a few of you picked up on the fact that, sorry, my phone was just going, <laughs> you can wait, <laughs> um, picked up on the fact that Rach wasn't in a lot of the vlogs. And there is a reason for that. So the day after we landed, like we got our food and stuff, Rach started to feel a little bit poorly. And we were like, what? Um, can you see where this is going? Um, she got COVID. So for half of the holiday slash trip, she was quarantined. Somehow, I got away with it, and so did Brett. Sorry, <laughs> had to go and answer the door. Um, yeah, what was I saying? So somehow, me and Brett were testing like every single day. Um, like I went and bought a bunch of COVID tests. They're really different in America compared to the ones that we have here. But yeah, we were negative for the whole trip and. So that was great, but it wasn't so great for Rach who had to quarantine. So um, that's why she wasn't in a lot of the Universal vlogs. Because <laughs> then the second week I wanted to then make it amazing for her. And we took her to Disney and I didn't really want to vlog for that. Um, honestly, me running up the stairs, getting out of breath is why I need to start running again. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I went to Bath and Body Works and I picked her up loads of stuff because she couldn't come. Um, so this is Ghoul Friend, which is a foaming hand soap. I got her a vanilla buttercream hand cream and I got her these little frog bandages. She loves frogs. So those are for Rach. Those, um, she does know about those, but I'll give them to her with her Christmas stuff. I also got some foaming hand washes because I'm obsessed. I got this one, which is vampire blood. I know that it's past Halloween now, but hey ho. There's also enchanted candy potion. I'm just very excited. I love Bath and Body Works stuff so much. I did pick up some of their hand sanitizers too. I got strawberry pound cake, uh, twisted peppermint, which is perfect for the holiday season, sunrise woods, and then fall vibes. So yeah, these are great to have in your car or your handbag when you're out and about and you just want a little, mm, a little pick me up. I've got to show you a jumper that I bought <laughs> and I sent a picture of this to my brother as soon as I bought it. I was like, look, because <laughs> he knows I like Baymax. It's this jumper and it says Hairy Baby on it. It's from Box Lunch and oh my God, I was like, I need it. So this is what I'm going to be living in for Christmas. <laughs> I did also recently go to the studio tour. I'm not doing a haul of everything I bought but I will show you the one thing that I went and really wanted in fact two things that I really wanted I ended up getting two things one of which you can get on their website which is this it's a tea light candle holder and this is going straight into my lounge it's going straight in there and it might even stay out more than Christmas <laughs> so you put a little tea light on there and then you put the little, it's a little porcelain, oh my god, and then the candlelight comes through the little holes. Oh, so cute. This is special because I don't believe they sell these online. I think this might be an in-store purchase, like exclusive only, because it's so heavy, but maybe they will bring them online. But this was £48. Look, it's a little snow globe, and it's got a Gryffindor snowman in there. You know, like the snowman that I bought for America? Well, they have these beautiful snow globes and the snow really goes. Oh my God, he's in a blizzard. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna put all of this stuff away. And then I think I'm gonna tidy up the mess that I've made downstairs with all of the tree things. And I'm gonna get into my cozy clothes, take my face off. I only did a little face today. Um, saves me looking like a swamp demon. And then I'm gonna make a hot chocolate and I'm gonna finish off the day by watching the rest of Wednesday on Netflix. So I hope you enjoyed this video. There are gonna be a few more Christmassy videos to come. I'm gonna do a Christmas ornaments haul, specifically Harry Potter ones. And then I think I will do another vlog as well. Um, and maybe show you the Harry Potter Christmas tree. I have to show you the Harry Potter Christmas tree. I've been talking about it for years before I even had the tree. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for spending the day with me. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, give this vlog a magical thumbs up. And I will see you in a video very, very soon. Um, yeah, I'm going to go have a snack, have a chill. 
and yeah get ready for a full day of editing tomorrow <laughs> i've got lots to do i've got a busy few weeks um before my christmas break and i'm just i've got that in my mind like my, my brain's already kind of clocked out for christmas i'm like no you've still got like three to four weeks until your christmas break girl um so yeah i'm just trying to stick with the motivation <laughs> anyway guys thanks so much for watching and yeah leave a comment down below of how you're doing and what are your christmas plans um and i will see you very very soon lots of love